can gay couples on television ever get a happy ending? That's also something I want to talk about because can they really? I feel like everyone has like a sad uh, ending. Except for Glee maybe. They had a happy ending. Right? Hey weirdos! It's Victor and welcome to another midnight chat with me, I guess. Uh, and today we're going to talk about scum. Yes. And about LGBT characters in television and movies. I guess, kind of. So yeah, this is just another night of me not getting to sleep at night, so I'll just sit down and chat with you. <laughs> scum means shame in English. And if you don't know what scum is, it's a Norwegian television show that's like become so popular here in Norway. But the fact that I'm talking about it now is because this season it's all about the LGBT. At least I feel it is, because this season we follow a character named Isaac. And he is gay and he's struggling with his identity and trying to figure out who he is and what his sexuality is and yeah. Um, something a lot of us have been going through as well in life and I think it's so so cool that they show this and this side of the LGBT on Norwegian television. So of course I'm going to talk about the Norwegian series Scum and I'm going to talk about the season 3. So yeah, spoiler alert, if you wanna see, because it's like all over YouTube uh, in English subtitles. So if you wanna see it, YouTube it. Maybe you'll find it and see some episodes, but it's a really, really good series here in Norway. And if you want to learn Norwegian, that's a cool way to learn Norwegian as well. So I'm going to talk about Isaac and the boy he falls in love with, Evan. They are like the big thing now. Everyone ships them like all around Norway. Okay, let's just skip right to it, really. We understand that Isak is getting feelings for this guy, right? They're getting really close and Isak really likes him and then suddenly Evan introduces Isaac to his girlfriend. Yes, Evan has a girlfriend and then you're like really disappointed because Evan has a girlfriend. <sighs> and you don't want that because, of course, everyone wants Evan to <laughs> fall in love with Isaac and they live happily ever after. But the thing is, Evan never leaves Isaac alone. He just continues to, like, get closer to him and hang with him and they become closer and closer. And on Halloween, Isaac and Evan runs away together and breaks into a pool and have like the most beautiful underwater kiss ever. Ever! Yeah. They kiss and everyone's like, yes, they kiss! Because come on, we can see that they're in love. <sighs> so after this kiss underwater, they continue to text each other and talk to each other. And uh, suddenly, after class one day, Evan comes to Isaac and tells him that he's gonna tell his girlfriend and that he's gonna end stuff with his girlfriend and that he wants to be with Isaac. And again, everyone's like, yay, they win. But of course, that's not what happens. Suddenly, Isaac can't get a hold of him anymore and he's like, what? He's trying to text him, he never texts back, and suddenly he does. Isaac gets a text from Evan and he says things have gone too fast and he's sorry, but yeah, they just have to stop for a while. Uh, and Isaac doesn't really know what's happening and... Yeah, we've all been there, right? We're insecure, we, we don't know what we're doing, and we don't know how the other person feels, and whoa, where do we take it from here? But Isaac hears that Evan's at a party. So he goes to this party, 
and what he sees is Evan kissing his girlfriend and having a great time with his girlfriend again. And Isaac is really, really sad and runs out of the party and yeah, is depressed, of course. Isaac is confused and he feels alone because he hasn't told anyone. He hasn't told his best friends, he hasn't, to hasn't told his family that he's gay and so he feels alone and sad. But he finally tells his closest, closest friend. He tells his friend that he's in love with Evan. And his friend is like totally like, cool. He doesn't mind at all and it isn't anything bad. It's just completely normal and that's how it's supposed to be. That is like one of the most beautiful scenes, like Isaac telling his best friend and telling about Evan and Evan has a girlfriend and stuff like that and his best friend is like, oh my god, he really needs to break up with his girlfriend. <laughs> so at least Isaac isn't so alone about it anymore and after he told his best friend he told his other friends in his gang and they were completely fine fine with it too but then suddenly Evan he continues to text Isaac he continues to text and text and text and and finally Isaac has enough he says stop texting me until you've broken up with your girlfriend and then of course Evan replies we need to talk and he suddenly shows up at Isaac's room and when Isaac opens the door, they of course, the first thing they do is just start kissing and making out. And then their clothes go off and then, yeah, we can, <laughs> we can guess what's happened. And then when Isaac wakes up the next day, Evan is making him breakfast and Isaac is really insecure are we together now? Are we a thing? Or... Yeah, so he asks him, yeah, what, what is this? And, and Evan says, no, I've broken up with m my girlfriend. It's over. It's not us anymore. And it's you and me. And I'm here and I'm making you breakfast. And yeah, things are really, really good between them. And now is when things really are happening. And that's this is why I really wanted to talk about this. Suddenly, Evan has this idea that they're going to rent a suite in a hotel and have a wonderful time. And Isaac is like, cool, okay, cool, I'll join you. And while all this is happening, Evan's ex-girlfriend is trying to get a hold of Isaac. She's calling him and texting him, like, call me when you get the chance. And Isaac thinks that's really weird. But... Evan and Isaac go to this suite and have a wonderful time. They, they have sex and they kiss and they talk and everything seems wonderful. Until suddenly, in the middle of the night, Evan is getting really... He's really weird just running around the suite and looks like he's looking for something and... Isaac is like, oh, what's going on? Because he's sleeping. Evan suddenly says, oh, no, no worries. I'm just gonna go out and find us some McDonald's. And Isaac just looks up at him and Evan is naked. And then he suddenly runs out of the hotel room naked. He just ran out of the hotel room naked. So Isaac is like, what? What the, what the fuck? He ran to the hotel room and, and yelled for him outside, like, Evan, Evan, uh, and then he just gets dressed and then runs out to look, to look for him. He, he brought Evan's clothes for him, and he's like, where did he go? He ran outside and tried to look for him everywhere, but he couldn't find him. He was naked outside, and it was cold, and it was, yeah. Isaac finally contacts Evan's ex-girlfriend. And she comes over at once and she talks to the police and the police has found him. So he was safe, at least. But then Evan's girlfriend tells Isaac that Evan is bipolar. 
She's just looking straight at Isaac and it's like, he doesn't love you. He would never love you. This is just like a weird phase he has in his depression. He's bipolar and he's depressed. He doesn't love you. Ugh. And then she leaves. And that's the end of episode eight. That is the end of episode eight. It's the, ugh. And the season is soon over and I'm like, okay, now, this is not looking bright. Things are looking really, really bad for them. Like everyone was cheering for them and they were so beautiful together and they just were right for each other and everything, everyone thinks so and maybe, maybe they are. Maybe they are right for each other. That's what, that's what I hope, but they're fucking it up. <laughs> and I'm like, no, please don't. Because I really need a happy ending. I need a happy ending for them. I need a happy ending for the LGBT couple. I just, I just do. I, I feel like so many short films, so many series, they always have this really sad endings for LGBT characters. If you know like a place where there are happy endings for LGBT characters, please tell me down below. You know, I just feel there are so many sad endings. And I was hoping that when Finally, things were looking so bright for these two, for Evan and Isak. It would be a happy ending. Finally, they would have a beautiful happy ending on Norwegian television. <laughs> so I'm like, please, just turn it around. Make them happy. Make them last. The first two seasons are also really, really good. But the third season, uh, of course, for me, it's more relatable because I've kind of been through like the same things as Isaac has and I know a lot of you guys watching this has also been through the same thing Isaac has. So this is like really a passion of mine. I want it to be a happy ending, right? We all want happy endings. I know it's cliche sometimes, but you know, Sometimes we just need a good happy ending to feel good about ourselves, don't we? <laughs> so I strongly recommend Scum for everyone out there. It's a series for everyone, really. They really do talk about important subjects. If you have a LGBT related TV series or a television show that you really like, please comment down below and I'll watch it. Even if it doesn't have a happy ending, I'll watch it because, um, yeah, I've been really interested in watching LGBT stuff lately. I, I think it's really good that they finally like, they take us seriously, you know? Anyways, thanks for the chat, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you like talking to me. <laughs> and don't forget to stay weird and be yourself. Bye.